Yep. Yeah, Mag and I waited for you yesterday because we were silly. We were too silly to check Discord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, if, if this ever happens again, guys, whenever I'm not live, like, if say it's like 7.05 and I still haven't gone live, check the Discord. Because if I'm not going to go live, that's where I'll tell you guys. Because you guys know I'm like, I'm always live. But when I'm not, that's where I'm going to let you guys know what happened or like the reason why I'm not going live. I'll say it in the Discord. So if you haven't joined the Discord yet, join the Discord. That's the best place to get the news and just chit-chat as well. doesn't always have to be end-of-world news. Oh, I just don't mistype that. I can't type today. I, I can't. I can't. I, I, it's not going to work. I'm going to keep mistyping. That's it. I'm fumbling around. Okay, 9.2.5 news, guys. Of course, it dropped yesterday. The, the news dropped yesterday. Yes, a release date of May 31st. Way sooner than I thought. I'm not going to lie. Way sooner. So we are going to have cross-faction raiding. Is this next week, man? This next week. Cross-faction raiding. Starting next Tuesday after reset. Holy shit. And that's not the only thing that's coming here. We have uh, cross-faction gameplay included in 9.2.5 content update, giving players more grouping options and allowing them to play with friends on opposing factions. That's right. We will have Alliance in the stream. Alliance will be joining the stream. Uh, we'll, be, we'll be doing that shit with them. You guys be nice. Play nice with the Alliance once they start joining us, okay? I don't want to see any, any angriness coming out of you guys. You better be playing nice. Huzzah. Only if you have Alliance players on your B-net. <laughs> well, let's see. Anyways, we'll talk about it. This is going to work. Blood Elves and Dark Iron Dwarves get questing. Two new quest lines for Blood Elves and Dark Iron Dwarf players earn new rewards in this update. Very cool. Very cool. I love a good storyline quest. Blood Elf players uh, completing this quest line receive the elusive Emerald Hawkstrider mount. What is this? I have not seen this yet. The elusive Emerald Hawkstrider mount. Oh, look at that. That's cute. That's nice. All right, we get this mount. Wow. Kind of hoping for an armored version, but okay, yeah, that's cool. We get a green Hawkstrider mount, what I've always wanted. And uh, uh, paladins will earn, okay, they'll earn, yeah, whatever, that's fine. They'll earn a uh, ensemble Blood Death Knight, uh, Blood Death Knight's dedication. A Blood Knight themed thing. Okay, fine. Dark Iron Dwarves players complete their quest line and earn the Grim Howl's Face Axe mount. Very cool. And the Dark Iron themed Arsenal Lava Forge Armaments as rewards. Awesome. Awesome. I love a good story quest line, so I'm excited to play that. Good alliance in the stream. I haven't eaten a gnome in a while. Tasty treats coming. <laughs> I don't, the only alliance players I enjoy are Goldshire RPers. Oh god. Oh god, yeah. If you've ever been to the Lions Pride in on an IP ser on an RP server, no, those aren't intense. <laughs> Just eating gums a little bit chewy. Uh, test your metal in Enigma cru in the Enigma Crucible, the mysterious Enigma Crucible crafted by progenitors in the latest PvP arena located within the ancient wonder of Zareth Mortis, and will offer players a challenging battlefield to test their skills. All right. Who's excited for that? Metal Enigma Crucible. Honestly, I didn't even know this was coming. I have no idea what this is. Shadowlands Season 4 coming soon. This is what I was worried about. When I saw 9.2.5 dropping, I was like, whoa, does that mean we're not going to be able to get AOTC anymore? But no. Season 4 doesn't start on Tuesday. Season 4 will be coming later on in the summer. I'm, I'm guessing, like, remember how I was saying I think 9.2.5 is coming in August? I'm guessing that's when this is going to come. So we'll see Shadowlands Season 4 probably start sometime in August. And uh, we have the official patch notes here uh, for 9.2.5 as well. A uh, bunch of new achievements. Tower Ranger, Dancing Machine. All Covenant and Sanctum feature achievements are now visible and count. Uh... 
Tar is a character's total points, regardless of which covenant your character currently belongs. Nonetheless, all characters must belong to a covenant to earn covenant-specific achievements. Alright, so more achievement stuff. Characters remove the experience point reduction that apply to level 51 and 60 characters. Yeah, yeah, it's just some bug fixes. Fix where bone shield is consumed by tombstone. Yes, thank you, that's great. Appreciate that. And warlocks fix an issue causing scourging teeth to grant both death and surviving effects. Cross faction instancing. Here it is, guys. This is the big deal. The game changer. One of the biggest changes to World of Warcraft since. Honestly, since WoW launched. Cross faction rating is a huge deal, guys. I don't think anyone. I don't. I, if you don't realize that yet, you're crazy. Cross faction rating is a change, man. It's a change of the game. No doubt. So players are now able to directly invite members of the opposite faction to a party if you have a battle tag or real ID friendship or if you are members of a cross-faction WoW community. Wait a minute. We're going to have to be buddies? Like they won't just be able to see my queue and queue up? What the fuck? Is that real? Yeah, I told you. Yeah, you did, Sugar Dust. You said it. What? No, no, I'm not gonna lie. That kind of that kind of makes me sad. I thought they were just gonna be able to see the queue and queue up. Well, I guess then Alliance will have to come into the stream, join our pug raid community, because we do have one. Right? They'll have to join this community, and then uh, and then they can uh, join the raid. Make a community and game, Sam. Yeah, we do. We have one. It's right here. I can link it to you guys if some of you guys don't have. Invite link. Uh, copy link. Here, I'll link it right here in uh, Twitch chat. Yeah, this is our community. We do have a pug raid central, and of course it's a pug. I didn't know there was a community. Yeah, there is. Honestly, it's pretty quiet. I don't talk that much in it. Uh, but there is a community. So I just linked it in chat here. You guys can you guys can go ahead and join it, and I guess I'll have to I'll set up in Discord if you type exclamation point community that the, that link will drop so people so Alliance can come in here join the community and then get invited. That's the way we'll have to do it. Interesting. I didn't know that was going to be a limitation, but I guess it is. So uh, pre-made groups in Group Finder listing for Mythic Dungeon raids, rated arena RBGs are now open for applications from both factions. Uh, through the group leader may choose the restrict strict may choose to restrict the listing to the same faction applications. Now wait, this is kind of contradictory. So you only be able to do it if you're a battle tag or real ID friend, but then pre-made groups and group finder listings can have can choose to list of both factions. I don't know. We'll have the community thing open anyways. If if they have to be part of the community to join, we'll make sure that that's available to them. Wow, you can be a now one percent or another community. Yes. Exactly. Join. Get us from 100% male to <laughs> give us that 1%. So while communities now have the option to be cross-faction, while guilds remain single-faction. Okay. Uh, random match-made activities like heroic dungeons, skirmish, and random battlegrounds will remain same faction. The following instances are not cross-faction. Trial of the Champion, Trial of the Crusader, Vault of Artivan, well, that makes sense. The vault was was a PvP related uh, raid that would only open if you finished off Winter Grasp. So that makes sense, I guess. Ice Crown Citadel. What? Why? I guess because the experience is different from both factions. Slightly, the story. Bard and Hold, Siege of Boralis, Battle for Dazar Lore. Okay, those make sense. You wouldn't know what to do with, with when the cross faction shit happens in those. Dark Mall Citadel. Okay. Dungeon Raid. Sepulchre of the First One Cross Rum Raiding is now available on Mythic Difficulty. Look at that. Mythic Plus will, with Cross Faction instances becoming available, the Cryptic Hero Shadowlands Season 3 achievement now requires a Mythic Plus rating in the top 0.1% of all players in your region. Be a badass, basically. Be a badass. And you can get that shit. You just can't walk up to the to an alliance and invite them 
It has to be LFG or friends list or community. That's what I'm saying though. If they if they find us an LFG, do they have to be part of the community? That's what I'm saying. Can I just list the raid like I always do and they'll be able to join? That's what I'm hoping it is. People are whispering me and asking me, what am I up to? Because they see me online, but they don't see our viewer raid posted. Yeah, so we are viewer raiding. We'll do our time walking today. That's right. Okay. Yeah, I'll check out that Kung Fu's. I think I do have an announcement channel that's only me, but I'll have to check that out. Thanks for whispering that. Classes, yeah, we fixed. they fixed the issue with that. Uh, cross faction history, Mythic Plus. Okay, items and rewards. Broker of Desertion now increases renown of your currently active covenant to 60 was 40. Yeah, more renown catch up, that's always good. These activities will now give 100% reward of renown. Yes, yes, yes. More uh, reward boxes, callings now contain twice as many grateful offerings still scaling with your covenant sanctum anima conductor levels very nice more catch-up mechanics that's what all this is the earth motors weekly patterns within patterns now awards grateful offerings fix this issue with blizzard stop transmog cosmetics or temporarily disappear from your collection fix another issue with jingles battle pet would disappear as an unknown <laughs> that's sad okay good solo shuffle bra uh, more death knight fixes and warlock fixes. A minimum item level combatants will scale up. Uh, has been raised to 252, was 239. Fix an issue that caused some abilities to not be removed from players in between rounds. <laughs> Fix issues that caused a uh, round to not reset properly if a player on each side of the brawl did not die at the same time. Interesting. Profession stuff. The quests we talked about this Blood Elves and Dark Iron Dwarves. Torghast. Um, they're basically unlocking more levels that you can do from default. And user interface, uh, just a few, a few things here. Very exciting stuff, guys. 9.2.5 looks like it's gonna be a good time. It's gonna be a good time. I cannot wait for cross-faction rating. Whether they have to join our community or not to join, we'll make it available to them. But, uh, after I read it again, I think they will be able to join if it's listed through uh, the group finder. I think they'll be able to join if, if that's the case. But to be able to randomly select an alliance player and invite them, they'd have to be part of your community or something. Okay. Man, I feel like it's hard for people to find the Ulduar time walking shit. But anyways, hey, we're here. And by the way, guys, it's a long stream today. I'm going longer today. Going longer, going harder. That's the plan. Making up for yesterday. I've been doing that on uh, today and Friday. So today and Friday, I'm doing longer streams. We're going to go longer. Uh, should be fun. You get to spend more time with me. And uh, Monday is Memorial Day. So I'm not streaming on Monday. Monday, we won't have a stream. So right now, the plan is Ulduar today. Maybe we get in... Um, to Sepulchre of the first ones after we finish Old War, depending on how long it takes. And we continue on with uh, with that. I did save the lockout, so we're still at our Lords of Dread. Uh, we'll continue there. Uh, and then tomorrow we'll obviously do Lords of Dread, or whoever we're on. If we get Lords of Dread tomorrow, then uh, today, then we're on Ragalon tomorrow. Or the Jailer, uh, depending on how far we get today. But uh, that that is the plan and then monday no stream but then tuesday returning to your regular streaming schedule of course uh but to get us uh what was it official cross faction stuff so here's more on the official cross faction because uh, cross faction is the biggest thing in 9.2.5 again as i understand it they would be able to queue up but they wouldn't uh, if you're in group finder, but otherwise you can't randomly invite them unless they're your friend, a real ID friend, or community member. It just means spots are going to be tight, so first come, first serve. 
once we have Alliance nosing in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that, that's the hope, right? I just think it'll make a better stream. It'll make better content. We'll be able to get started sooner, get more bosses down every day. There, Because, in general, I feel like the WoW player base right now is somewhat... It's kind of trickled down a little bit. And maybe that's why they pushed out 9.2.5 without Season 4 so quickly. Um, because I do, I have noticed it, right? We, we had, for, for a good month or two, when Sepulchre of the First Ones dropped, we would form up raid in about 10 minutes. I'd go live, there'd be like fucking 42 people in here, and we'd go, we'd, we'd hit it, we'd fill up a group quickly. Now it's slowed down, a lot, substantially. There are just less people queuing up, less people in the streams, and uh, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I stream for fun. It's okay if there's less people viewing the stream. But uh, it's just a bit... It takes a bit longer to fill up Raid. So I'm glad that they're bringing this in now. Uh, hopefully we start to fill up Raid quicker like we used to. And we get started. We get to, The fun gets started earlier. As much as you guys love to hear me rant in the morning, I think you like to Raid too. So, you know, we can, we'll be able to get into Raid much quicker. Yeah, good morning, Sam. What's up, Joshua? Cross Faction is beautiful. Yeah, Max Owens, I'm very excited about Cross Faction, for sure. It took me 30 minutes to find a time walking on Alliance yesterday. I did Horde within five minutes. Jesus. Jesus. Am I queued up in the right area, Jeevo? Like, when you looked for time walking, did you just search for Ulduar? Because that's all I did. I queued up as an old raid, and then I put it as Ulduar time walking. I want to make sure that this is not like a special place I'm supposed to be queuing up. I know that once the raid is full, we're going to go to Dalaran, and we'll queue up from there as an entire raid. Uh, but I just want to make sure we're queued up in the right spot that people can find us. I guess that makes sense. You can't just invite an alliance to your group after you kill them in war mode and tell them the same thing you would, would have happened to their mother. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. El Bruno, just queue up, man. Queue up in game. You don't have to type exclamation point join today. Just queue up. We got plenty of room. We're gonna we're gonna try to 30 man this. So queue up in game, and you'll see. Love your rants, good sugar dust. I'm glad I'm glad you enjoy it. That's it, man. Grab a coffee if it's early in the morning for you. Grab your G for you, and just watch me rant. The good thing is we get to talk about a, a lot of wild content in the morning, like this 9.2.5 news. We watch uh, videos. Uh, you know, I react to them. It's, it is fun. We do have a good time in the morning while we're waiting for Raid to fill. But it'll be nice for Raid to just fill up a little bit quicker, that's all. I honestly think that might be why I have the hiccups. Oh no, that's not good. Yeah, I went to Raid to Legacy. Okay, good. So I am queued up in the right area. I am queued up in the right area. End Grove. No, you have to send them a friend request, then invite them, and then tell them what's fixing to happen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's how you can talk shit to them. Become their friend, then talk shit to them. <laughs> Worth it, right? Um, so yeah, the, again, more of this cross-faction stuff here. Uh, 9.2.5, dropping May 31st. Really excited. Uh, again, doesn't come with Season 4. Season 4 is coming later in the summer, but the cross-faction stuff is coming next Tuesday, May 31st. So this, this is awesome. Make frenemies of your enemies. When you're party with play, when you can party with players of the opposing faction, as initially outlined in the previous post, cross faction instances will break the faction divide by allowing friends from opposite factions to play together. It will also expand opportunities for players to pursue their favorite group content. That's awesome. That's awesome. So here it is. Here's the grouping up stuff. So let's read exactly how this happens because there's been a bit of a confusion as to whether they got to be friends or part of a community or you could just find us via the, uh, the, the the group finder here. So grouping up. To invite members of the opposite faction to a party, players must have a battle tag or real ID friendship or members of the cross-faction WoW community. Okay, that's what they say. But then they go on to say that they can queue up through the group finder. Let's see. Players will have the ability to find pre-made groups in group finder for dungeons Normal, Heroic, Mythic, and Mythic Plus. Raids, Raided Arenas, RBGs, and also Torghast. However, the group leader may restrict the listing to same faction applications. This is just, These two statements are contradictory. I can't figure out... <coughs> how can they find a pre-made group but then have to be part of a community or be your friend to find it? I'm guessing both of these apply. 
Like, to randomly join a group, or like to be invited in directly in-game, you have to be friends or part of a community. But, if it's a group being formed through the group finder, you can join them. If the group leader has allowed cross-faction rating or groups. That's, that's how I'm understanding this. Guess we'll find out next Tuesday. Yeah, I guess we will. I guess we will. Uh, again, I'll, I'll make sure I, I set up Discord to have uh, Discord Twitch chat to be able to type exclamation point community, and it'll send the link for our community. Because if that's necessary, I'll be, I'll just let all Alliance players join our community. <clears throat> but I do think both ways will be possible. The reason for the friend and real ID slash community member thing is if you want to invite them like directly in game. But Group Finder is a way to get around that, I think, where if they find you in Group Finder and you've enabled cross-faction, they can find you that way as well. More gnomes to smush, yeah. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of gnome hate in this in this stream today. Okay. Uh, once in a party, members of the opposite faction will remain unfriendly while outside of the instance, though they will be able to communicate through party and raid chat as well as you slash slay slash and slash yell with proximity to one another okay uh i mean wait you'll be able to so you'll be able to invite somebody to raid and then kill them outside of the out of the raid <laughs> that sounds like it can cause problems uh but okay, so I guess I'm going to tell the stream right now. Do not kill our raid members, please, when we're outside of Sepulchre of the First Ones. Let them survive until they get in. That's that's pretty crazy. So you'll be able to kill them. So you can keep the music going here. So you'll be able to kill them outside of the raid, even after they've joined the group. That's funny. Uh, upon entering the dungeon raid or raided PvP match however all members will be friendly and able to assist each other in combat trade loot earn share achievements and otherwise fully engage the same way members of the same faction do okay that's great that's great this outside of the dungeon thing is going to be a problem i feel like said just go to just legacy raids and join the queue yeah yeah anyone who's in here wants to join just go ahead and find us the queue you can ser literally search for this and you'll find it search my name as long as you're not filtering out voice chats make sure you're not doing that uh, we can't have any fun <laughs> yeah yeah I can imagine that being a problem honestly big sloppy chop big sloppy chop I'd appreciate it if you went DPS for now okay guilds will remain single faction random match made activities like heroic uh, dungeons, skirmishes, and random battlegrounds will remain same faction. Okay. The functionality of cross-faction instance feature will also apply to legacy instances and is available at all levels. However, there will be several older instances and cross-faction parties cannot enter due to faction-specific components and they are... Yeah, we talked about these. There are faction-specific things in these raids that would probably be confusing to anybody. Who wasn't part of the same faction. Cross-faction instances are ready for you to reach across the faction divide in 9.2.5. We'll see you in Azeroth. That's right. That's right. May 31st, guys. Next Tuesday, we'll be ready to go. I'm, I'm excited. I'm really excited for this. I feel like it's a game changer for WoW. It's going to be a great thing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be really good.